to want to make a video today today was my the end of one whole week of um, dieting and um, I did the recording of me stepping on the scale I'm very happy because one week three pounds <laughs> so I'm very happy um, that just tells me that I'm on the right track okay so um, that the video of me stepping on the scale will probably be at the end of this video um, yeah, I'm happy. I'm so, so happy. And, um, three pounds may not be a lot, but it's a lot for me. And so, I'm very happy that I'm going through this with y'all because it keeps me on point. Um, just last night, my husband and I was watching, um, what was he watching? I think we was watching Once Upon a Time. I don't know if y'all know about that. It's a program that comes on Channel 6 at 8 o'clock. And um, it's like story time uh, about people in Storyland, but be that as it may, <laughs> we like the program. And my husband had um, bought some bagged popcorn. Now, bagged popcorn is a lot different than popcorn you make yourself because popcorn you make yourself, you know, you get the hot air popper and, you know, there's no oil and, you know, it's, it's pretty good and um, it's low in calories. Um, but I, as a diabetic, I can't eat it, although popcorn is my love. I love popcorn. But before I got diabetes, I used to eat popcorn every single day. And now I can't eat it at all. But my husband enjoys popcorn. And he buys it in the bag. And he was sitting up there eating his popcorn. And usually I would be, you know, well, let me go get myself something, you know, um, I don't know, some nuts or, you know, just a snack of some some kind, even some chicken or something. And he was eating it. And because I knew I had this weigh in coming, I sat there. I didn't want anything. <laughs> I ate my dinner and I didn't need the snack. I watched the program and um, I was good. And so it, it just, it made me feel happy because had I not had to come and do a weigh-in today and show y'all my progress or non-progress, I, I know I would have got a snack. I probably would have got more food from dinner, you know, but um, no, uh, I behaved myself and it felt good. <laughs> so I'm going to try to keep doing that. I wanted to um, tell y'all what I've been doing. I have been uh, so far only going for walks. Um, I want to speed it up this week and probably put in a little weightlifting. But um, the first week was just walks, a 30 minute walk every day and um, three pounds at the end of seven days. It's nothing to sneeze at. I'm very happy about that. But I don't say happy too many times in this video. So that tells you how many times I'm happy. Happy, 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 happy. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And um, let me think what else that I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of belching. The, the belching keeps coming. And as I told you on my last video, it does not come out my mouth. It gets stuck. I just, it just, I think I'm swallowing a lot of air. I don't know. It, it's, I don't know what's going on. Before I started dieting, I didn't have this problem. I could hold a sentence and I could, I could speak without feeling the air come up into my throat. And now that I'm dieting, I must be swallowing a lot because <laughs> I constantly get the burp bubbles here. But um, I don't know. If y'all know, let me know because I don't know. Um, but um, I forgot. I lost my train of thought what I was about to tell y'all. I guess basically what I've been doing. Okay, I've been walking. I've been drinking more water. Instead of drinking my eight glasses of water a day, I've actually speeded up to 10 glasses of water. And um, I've found new, new treats. Um, I like to do natural treats. And um, I'm going to show that to y'all in a few minutes. I'll be right back. 
Hey YouTube, I'm back. I wanted to do a video in the place where the seat of the crime takes place, my kitchen. <laughs> this is where I come and get my food that makes me fat. <laughs> but no, I wanted to come in here and do a video because I wanted to show y'all what I've been eating. Um, I have it on the table, it's just easier to do the video in here so that I can have it ready. Okay, and plus it's food, so I ain't gonna bring food to the kit to the bathroom, but whatever. Anyway, <laughs> this is what I've been eating. It's an empty bag because I put it in my little jar. Okay, these are figs, and um, they're natural, and they have no sodium. And for a diabetic, everybody says that oh, sugar is really bad for diabetics, which it is, but it's not so much the sugar as the sugar and the salt it's been my experience that I can have some sugar as long as it's not associated with salt and these little figs have zero sodium and um, they're like 29 grams of sugar but um this is what it looks like and they are delicious how to eat one sorry eat on camera I was hungry and I wanted a snack. Um, sorry. <laughs> but um, it has um, 29 grams of sugar, zero sodium, zero cholesterol. So it's a great snack. And I don't eat them all day long. I'm being bad, sorry. I limit myself to two, maybe three a day and it works out great for me and it gets me over that hump so that I don't need to eat the um, fatty salty things I would have eaten in the past I'm gonna finish chewing this I'll be right back sorry for being rude I'll finish eating it now okay what I want to tell you about and I'm not gonna eat another one just wanted to hold it up what I want to tell you about these happy little figs is that this one how many do I get in a pack um, I don't have my glasses on y'all so I don't know it looks like a serving is four four of these will give me five grams of fiber which is excellent and um, I'm eating two to three a day so I'm getting good fiber and um, it's sweet and um, natural and I'm happy about it and I don't eat them I don't eat all three in one setting. I, I space it out throughout the day. So I eat like one in the morning and one in the afternoon and one in the evening. And it's like, you know, it's like um, just a little snack to get me over the hump, you know. And I also wanted to show y'all one more thing while I'm in here. Okay. You see this? Okay. This looks like ice pops. Like it, it would be something sweet, but it's not. What this is, is the rest of my pumpkin soup. I made pumpkin soup. Uh, I don't know if y'all saw the video, but I, I, I had a big pumpkin and I made it into pumpkin soup, pumpkin muffins, things like that. And so what I did is I served the pumpkin soup to my family the day I made it and what they didn't eat I took and I froze and so what I do now is I take out two of those cubes and I add it with some hot water and I have a nice little pumpkin soup uh, to eat throughout you know the day whenever I feel like I just need something and so that's fun I like that and um, it keeps me full and so I wanted to show that to y'all. And what what I don't know if y'all know this about pumpkin. Pumpkin is such a good fruit. It um, has so many vitamins in it. It's got vitamin E. It's got vitamin A. It is good for the hair, the skin, and the nails. And um, it's high in fiber. So, you know, although it's a fruit that people just... Uh, discard around Halloween I, it, I don't know why anybody would discard it I mean just draw the jack-o-lantern on it and then take the pumpkin and and keep it for its nutritional value and um, that's what I do 
and um, I like it. I like it a lot. I think I'm going to do a video on how to make pumpkin soup because pumpkin soup is really good. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's what I've been doing. I have, I have my snack, I have my soup, and it helps me from overeating. That has always been one of my biggest problems, overeating. And um, I feel good that I'm not doing that right now. So yeah, so I'm going to go back and get out of the kitchen because I'm in the kitchen and I'm near these figs and it's becoming like my old habits is coming on me saying, well, you took a fig out the jar, you need to eat it. But I'm not, I'm gonna take this fig, put it in a baggie and save it for later. That way it's not in front of my face. Matter of fact, I'm just use the baggie came out of. I'm gonna put this away. Gotta get out the kitchen. Okay, y'all, okay, I'm back. I had to put on my glasses because the writing on the fig package was so small. I am so happy because when I read the serving, you get five. But I shouldn't be too happy about that because I don't think I should have five of them in a day. I think I should keep it to my two or my three. Five seems a bit excessive. But um, had I not had to be accountable to y'all, I would have never read what the serving size was. I just saw it in the store and I just buy them. And um, I open up a pack, put it in my little jar and just eat my two or three and that's it. But um, by me having to come and report to y'all, I looked at the serving and when I saw, I get to have five, then I had to, I had to calm down because no, I'm trying to lose this weight. So I don't want to eat five. Two or three is good. So I'm going to calm myself down. So that's my video. And um, I'm going to show y'all my way in at the, at the end of this video. And I'll talk to y'all another time. Yay. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye.